here in the nation's capital, where some of today's hottest tech trends are being showcased at CES on the Hill, CTA's annual policymaker and exhibitor networking event. Influential companies across many industries are gathering in one place to share their innovative ideas and products with members of Congress, the DC tech policy community, and top media. They're combining connected and sustainable. They're recognizing that the connected world can increase efficiency, lower fuel consumption. Transit screen is real-time aggregated transportation for a particular address that allows people to understand what their options are in real time, from typical mass transit, bus, rail, to um, what we would call semi-public or private transportation. We're showing off some of our connected home products. It's a smart sprinkler system, so it detects moisture uh, in the soil, as well as it gets weather alerts. So you're not watering your lawn when it's raining outside, wasting water. Content is streaming from our set-top box to the TV, and then the TV, it's a connected smart TV, and it has software in it that emulates our set-top box. So we don't need to put an extra set-top box in the house, helping our customers lower their energy bills. I'm one of the few centers that actually Snapchat, so I had a chance to Snapchat the Snapchatters tonight. CES on the Hill is a unique opportunity for exhibitors to showcase their products and discuss tech policy issues with government officials. The major question for drones is integration into the national airspace. Hopefully in the next year or two we'll find ways to better integrate these so we can do more exciting things like delivery, beyond visual line of sight, all of which have fascinating uh, uh, applications in agriculture, in first responder use. My first time seeing a drone, seeing how private use for it, and consumer use as well as how it's used um, in the military and other places like that. It's been a learning experience for me. We have in the past and continue to have issues with regulations that would impact the, uh, the connectivity in vehicles and would restrict our ability to offer certain safety equipment. From global brands to small stage startups, exhibitors have innovative products tied into industry initiatives like patent reform, sharing economy, and vehicle technologies. The technology we're showing is really what goes on inside the brain of the self-driving car. And we're using artificial intelligence, so we actually can train the vehicle how to recognize cars and trucks, motorcycles, bicyclists, pedestrians, read street signs, and understand where it can drive safely. Smart Wheel will monitor the hands on the wheel, and if they take one hand off the wheel for an extended period of time, it will alert the driver by a light, a red light, and a sound, reminding them to get both hands on the wheel. Because at four seconds, at 55 miles an hour, that's about a football field you've driven down the road without looking at the road. There's a company from my district who is bringing together databases for our veterans. They'll bring together their active duty database, their personal health care, their TRICARE, their veterans, all into one app. Physicians don't talk to each other, so the solution is to put that critical information in the hands of the patient for them to share whether they receive care. We brought a back-end uh, platform for managing um, intellectual property within marketplaces. So that is anytime basically uh, individual makers or creators are uploading uh, new products that they're making on demand to marketplaces such as Etsy or Amazon Handmade, we provide a scaled system to uh, identify any third-party IP issues and then provide clearance and downstream uh, rights administration. Public policy influencers and business leaders are all here to get a closer look at today's Freedom to Innovate initiatives. For CTA, I'm Megan Sanko.